As an artist, it really kind of means the world for an exhibit like Skyway that's a collaboration of these four institutions across Tampa Bay showing local artwork is just really incredible and invaluable. And it's actually something that inspired me within the piece to collaborate with Amanda. So then we started thinking about what can we do with the language of photography and the language of dance? And just think about like how much more we can achieve when we're working together across disciplines. To be here at the Tampa Museum is incredible, knowing that uh, it's a place that I've grown up kind of looking up towards, and now I'm part of the story here, so I'm really excited. We are both professors on faculty at the University of Tampa. I'm in the dance department. And I teach in the photography area. I knew I wanted to work with Amanda, and Skyway became this perfect opportunity to collaborate. I knew immediately as well that I wanted to collaborate and kind of see how we could merge our art forms together. We titled the work Blueprint Red Bloom, uh, Blueprint as a nod to the cyanotype and that beautiful blue that it creates and leaves behind, um, and Red Bloom kind of talking more seriously about red tide and algae blooms and how that's affecting the Gulf Coast, um, not just here in the Tampa Bay area, but beyond. The cyanotype, it's a really lovely, beautiful process that's all about leaving an impression through a contact print so in our work where you see the white figure, that's where our dancer was blocking the light. The areas that were exposed turn this deep, rich Prussian blue that you know really touches on like deep space and water and sky and kind of this ambiguous void. There's also this really nice like softness that happens from the movement of the body. And so thinking about those languages and how the viewer can enter into the work and hopefully walk away with an understanding of like what are these impressions that we're leaving behind. We do impact the landscape. We leave these impressions behind. What is it that you want to have left behind? What do you want future generations to be able to take away, not only from this area, but just from the planet in general? We decided that when COVID hit, we wanted to adjust a little bit how dance was gonna be integrated within the work. We decided dance film would be a really great medium in order to kind of piece those two things together. So I adjusted uh, bits of the solo so that it could be also integrated in the environment. And Jamie was great with me going down into the mangroves on Davis Island and finding all different kinds of angles and ways of integrating the dancer within the environment um, in another way. I just think it's so important that the work is seen in the area in which it's made, which is why I think showing work at the Tampa Museum of Art is such a special and rewarding experience. The Skyway collaboration has truly been just a magical experience, the way that it interconnects all of these museums across two counties that are really precious to me, growing up in Pinellas and Hillsborough, and something that I felt was really important was the idea of collaboration, not just between um, all of these museums, but also between the art forms. So what better way uh, to share that than merging dance and photography together?